Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Ron. Ron. Hi. How you doing, last, Lou? Good. What's your last name? Page. Ron Page. Great. Thank you, Don. And Ron, you're looking good today, and you brought out what? Come with me. A 1960 Chevy Impala. 1960 Chevy Impala convertible. Now, come with me. We're going to feature some of the features of this car. I love the, uh, not a wood ornament, but the fender ornaments there. And how long have you had this? Come with me, Ron. Well, I've had it over 15 years now, and it took me, uh, you know, a little bit at a time to get it to where I have it at today. You know, and I think it's close as 100% restored as I can get it. Yeah, it looks, it looks great. I mean, uh, clearly it's a, a labor of love, and uh, it's got the uh, V there right under the Chevy emblem, so it looks fantastic. Thank you. And I love the color scheme on it too. I mean, striking, isn't it? Well, when I first had it painted, you know, it had a black stripe. And uh, let me have you, let me have you move just across this this way. I want to get that wheel yeah. there. Go ahead. Yeah, it had a black stripe on this on the on the rear quarter, and I changed it to a red because aesthetically, I thought it would look better with the red and white interior. Well, let's take a look at that. Yeah. So, so you kind of improve the process. Mm -hmm. And let's get that emblem. Great fins, great shot there too, showing those fins. And the uh, dual antennas. Yeah. That looks great. Did that, uh, that was an option back then, correct? Oh yeah, it was an option. As a matter of fact, I had one antenna and I thought aesthetically again that it would look better with dual antennas. It looks great. And That's you great. mentioned the fins. Uh, I was at a car show and I won an award for the best fins. Oh really? <laughs> and you know, you know, along with the dual tailpipes and the dual antenna, I thought it was aesthetically, again, it would look real nice. Yeah, you know, that's the key, is the symmetry. Yeah. And uh, you've done that. Are these like bumperettes or something? Or? Yes, yes, you know, like miniature bumper cars. Yeah, right. A beautiful Chevy, Chevy location. Where's the gas go in this car? Oh, the gas uh, goes in right here. All right, okay, I was looking for, the, for where that would go. Right, well, you know. Yep, well, no, I got you. All right, let's uh, take a look at the interior. We've got the... Yeah, it's like a hound's tooth type look, you know? It has a great... Look at look at the, the detail here, as well as the uh, wonderful feel. It, it just feels great to be in this interior. I mean, we've got the, uh, the emblem there on the back. And there's a... Uh, yes, that's where the rear speaker is mm -hmm. from and, the radio. And so. you can see it, it's tight. They've got ashtrays over in the back as well as that the They're never used. Yeah, right, 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 of course. Nobody nobody touches this one. Let's take a look, though, at the uh, steering wheel and the lights and the wiper. Yes, those are your <laughs> instrument panel right there, gas gauge. Uh, the, oil gauge, temp, uh, speedometer, all that good stuff. The power brakes, and uh, just a wonderful, the heater, radio, an upgrade on the radio. <laughs> okay, well this is aftermarket radio. Yeah, no, no, all right. I like the Impala. gives a, gives a nice feel for the uh, for the passenger. Some of the venting down there. Mm. You gotta love this car. Let's uh, let's pop the hood, shall we, Ron? Okay. Well, it's all original. Under, it's all original yeah. under the hood. There's nothing really added. So that's that's what we're looking it's for. It's gonna look kind of common under there, that's, I tell you. That's what we look for. The common is fine. And we've got great sun today. Featuring that. Some of the things you usually wouldn't be able to read, we'll be able to read today. The single, single cylinder. Lots of room under here. Simple is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Simple is beautiful. Yes, I thought I wanted. To, well, I, actually, I did want to keep everything as close to original as possible. And I think you've done a great job of that. So let's just. Uh, these are some of the 
the details there. Ron, let's close the hood. Stand right next to your beautiful car. Stand right there. Ron, thanks for being on My Car Story. Thank you.